Hey guys, uh, gotta read the post here really quick. Uh, I think it was Kenny G. He posted up here about uh, he used a flasher. I was talking about my the STS system signal term, uh, the signal system that I beta tested for. Kenny mentioned about uh, attaching an LED higher up on his bar here uh, to the blink or to the horn or to horn. Listen to me. To the blinkers, uh, what what you don't have to take a tank off but to to get to the relay for the blinker. Here's the here's the relay right here, and if you notice, there's a little little rubber thingy right here, a little rubber channel, and that rubber channel fits on this post here, and all you have to do is just reach in there and push the whole rubber thing off the post. There's a, there's the post, and then uh, you just take it out. And, and you'll see that this is mine is an orange and blue, not a brown and blue. Orangish brown, I don't know. Maybe an older, older. Sorry about the LED; it's kind of bright. But uh, it's orange and orange and blue on mine. It, it might be, it might looks like it's brownish, orange or whatever. Anyway, what I did is I have an alarm FISO that I purchased from a Harley Davidson a long time ago. They had it connected in, so I already had the little pin connections. Why is it doing what it's doing here? Here we go. I already had little pin connections already uh, fastened on the wires. I'd already put them on and, and crimped them down and everything. Now I just kind of shoved them in. Shoved them into the to the connectors here. So I'm going to test it out to give you an idea what, what we're talking about as far as uh, just it's easy. This FISO, I think, cost me four bucks on Flea Bay. So uh, it's pretty pretty simple. You know, you just buy a couple of small crimpers. Or small pins. Uh, a lot of electrical kits just sell in the store. I'll have them. Uh, so let's let's see what happens here. It's going to be loud. I just shut the door for the cat. Uh, but okay, we got power on. Here goes the blinker. See, so you, you, you <laughs> if you're riding down the street, yeah, you can hear that. So can everybody else. Again with the blinker, power on. So there you have it. Uh, it's, it's just that easy, guys. There's no relay. I didn't put a relay on it or anything because your blinker's not on all that long, you know? So uh, you put your blinker on, it starts screaming at you. Yeah, you're in traffic. And then you, if you have to wait, turn your blinker back off, what have you. But it will remind you that your blinker is on. You don't have to get this uh, loud as one as I have. This one is a, uh, was from Radio Shack, but it was made in Taiwan. I got it off the eBay. So uh, if, uh, this one's a, a twi uh, forget what they call it, a tweaker, or tweeter, something. Uh, not a not a tweeter as in speaker tweeter, but it's a warbler. There we go. It warbles. It, it changes tone. Squealer, squealer, squealer. So uh, I uh, I just attached the two small little connectors to it. I got them. I got them at a uh, hardware store. I believe it a hardware store. Might have been a radio shack. I might have ordered those on the online. I'm not sure. But they're they're small. Um, don't remember the size. Gauge of the wire is really super small. And I'm not sure exactly what the what the gauge is, but these were crimpers. These weren't uh, these were not uh, soldered. You can solder them. But I just crimped them. So there you have it. Uh, just buy a little single single tone tweeter off of Flea Bay and plug it in, and then plug your put your flasher back on underneath your tank, and you're good to go. I don't even know what the decibels on this thing. It doesn't say what decibels it is, but obviously it's pretty loud. It says it's a six to four, six to four volt DC. So there you have it. Oh, you want to get the part number? There you go. Make the part number readable. All right. Catch you later. Bye.